now this is the next video on the QR got front forks painted got that slider that little spring no slider you've got that snap ring that's the old dust seal And those ones have just come to dear. And they do look different, but they should be the same. And each each fork leg takes five gram of grease. You've got to grease that. Grease the spring inside of there. So I've got it's supposed to be five gram of grease. There's eight gram there. And I've pushed the rest of the grease into there. I'm just gonna wipe the top. So this is a fork leg what's been greased up so what you've got to do when that's when that's pushed in push that spring and push these two bits down do a fit in the fork Off. That's a snap ring in now. Now I'm going to take this old just seal off there's two washes on that there's the new dust seal we we'll just fit it on see if it fits it's tight over the fork That's the new dust seal in. So that's that fork leg done. We'll get the run done the same. So that's both forks done now. That's the old dust seal what was on. They're the new ones what I've been waiting for for a couple of weeks. So we'll get them onto the bike next. And then we'll get the new front wheel pads in, which are somewhere, I'll find them. And then we'll get the front wheel on. And I'll get the back, I'll pick the back wheel up later and we'll put that on as well. So now I'm going to do the front brake pads. Just put that up there. Should have them like that. You can put them like that, but they don't line up. If you put them like that, they line up so you have them like that. Spring. So it's in the tool. Now when the spring should in each tool, it should be looking like that. And get this. And just push this first pad down. And push the second one on. Push the second one down like that. And this hook, this spring hooks over that lip. That's it on now. Line the two notches up. And I got that on by putting a pair more grips onto the back of there. And onto this spring and nipping it over there. Because it was dead tight to get on. So now we'll get the front forks on. Then the front wheel, the front brake, roll the cable up. I'm mean, just waiting for the back wheel to go on. I've still got to 
but I've still got to paint the exhaust as well so we'll get the forks on now I'm just going to put the bike on the stand just push the front brake in two forks and push them in one was bent but it's been unbent but it's still a little bit bent so it might be hard to get into the yokes but I'll give it a try like I say these handle rails I can't tighten them up until I get the forks in or you kind of tighten the top bolt up on each fork so you've got to have them slack like that so when they tighten up they'll be flat we'll probably just have a little bend in that side but it might be alright but anyway we'll get the forks on now and I've removed the bottom yokes you can't move the top ones because there's no gap the slag with a groove goes on that side. That's both forks pushing the yokes now. It does seal the pop out. Just pop them back in later. But at least the top of the the fork leg is sitting on the top of the bottom yoke. I might have to bound them up. But I'm sure this was the bent fork leg, so hopefully it goes in, fits the top. So that's the front forks up to there now. I just opened them clamps a bit, pushed down on the handlebars, and they popped up. That's what I've done before, I just push it down like that. That one's put forward, right? This might be the bent one this side. Pushed up into the slots. I'll get the dust seals back in. I'll just push them down for the time being. So that's the front forks on. I'm going to put the bolts on the top. Like I said before, you cannot get the bolts on unless these handlebars stay slack. And then once these bolts are tightened, we'll tighten the handlebars up and get the front wheel on and the front spindle. And I've got some new pads for the back back AM back brake as well I'll be putting them in so that's the bolts of the top yokes like I see you've just got to lift them up to get them in so we'll just wind them in tighten them up and I'll tighten them up by smash soon that's the two bolts in just need to tighten them up bring it to touch Tight. Now we'll need to tighten the handlebars up. So now we'll get the front wheel on. We'll lube on the axle. The axle's up there. Lube on the axle and the spacer. We've got the front wheel cable there. I'm going to clean all that. But we'll put the front wheel on anyway before I put the cable on after it's been cleaned. So two bottom yoke holes tightened. I've got that on with the cable. I don't know if that goes that way or the other way. But I'll just put on like that for the time being. It's hooked up with the brake cable. So we'll get the wheel on next. And then we'll tighten the handlebars up. So now we're going to get the front wheel on. Just... inside that seal and there's that colour grease around that then push the colour into the wheel like that grease the spindle up as well so we'll get the wheel put it on push the spindle through from this side That lip on the fork. That lip fits into there on the on the drum. If you can see it on camera. That's a 
a part slightly from the other drum. We've already creased this. So we can just that should just bang through. And that's it through, so I'll just get the nut on that end. Tighten up by hand because it's it's gonna come off the tube that's punched it. So we'll leave the front free. Now we'll tighten the handlebars up. That's the handlebars all tightened up now. Now I'll put the back brake pads in. So I'll just pull these ones out. That's that side on. Just need to get the spring onto there. Hopefully it just stoops in. I'll just get the pick and go over a bit of that spring over. That's that one in. So that's the back brake pads on. And the front wheel on. And forks. So that'll be that for this video. Next video will be carb clean, back wheel on because it's something it does, and then just put everything else on. I still haven't ordered the front, won't go yet. But anyway, thanks for watching.